Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing another brand new episode in my 15 minute build series. And in this episode, we are going to be building this little ice cream parlor. This was suggested by one of you in the comments, and I thought it was a cool idea. You said I should build a ice cream shop with a drive through and I decided to modify it just a little bit to an ice cream shop with, shop with kind of like a walk-up uh, window where you can walk up and get your ice cream from out here. And then if you come inside, there's some seating rooms, some booths and stuff. You've got your menus up on the wall. And, you know, on top we've got a uh, giant ice cream cone. So that's what we're going to be building. And uh, that's pretty much the gist of it. So let's go ahead and get to building. I'm going to go ahead and put 15 minutes on the clock starting right now. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to take some red stained clay and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it is a 11 by 7 area. So 1, 2, 3, you can leave a gap here, one, two, three, and that is our ice cream parlor, uh, briefly, basically. It's it's basically our, our very brief shape. So, we'll just go ahead and bring that all the way around like that. On top of that, we'll go ahead and take white stained clay, and we're going to go up two levels... If I can, there we go. Let's, you know what, might be easier to just do it this way. There we go. So as I said, we'll take that one up two levels. Like this. And then we are good there. Okay. Now, the next thing that we'll want to do is knock out a space three wide and equivalent to the length of the building. So we'll take that out and we're going to replace all of that with clay because clay looks very cement-like, if you will. And then we'll take ourselves some gray carpets and go all the way around that clay, just like it was uh, like a curb, if you will. What we'll do here is we'll make a little pathway for maybe four more clay, kind of like the sidewalk. And then we're just going to take this all the way around the edge of the building as well. This is optional. I just think it looks nice. So I'm putting it here for the time being. And there we go. So that takes care of that part. Now the next bit is going to be windows. So we're going to knock out a three wide window there. And a three wide window there. We will put cyan glass panes on either side so that there's actually an opening. Then we're going to knock out a space here and here. Fill that with a cyan glass pane. And then we're just going to go two wide windows over here. There will be three of them. And all the way over on this wall, we're actually going to do a single three wide window. Just like that. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to take this whole floor out. So we can actually put a floor in here. Because that's important. There we go. And then for the actual floor pattern in here, we're going to grab this white stained clay, which we already have, and then some light gray stained clay as well. And we'll just go and make a little bit of a checkerboard pattern here Using the combination of those two materials, I think that looks quite nice, especially for a build like this. And I haven't done a checkerboard up until this build in quite a while. But it gives kind of a nice 
effect. This would also work very well if you were building like a diner or uh, pretty much any sort of restaurant. I think that works out really well. So now we can go ahead and clear out all of those materials from our inventory. We are going to grab ourselves some dark oak stairs. And then we're actually going to need some redstone blocks and some pistons. And a couple of signs. There they are. And over here, we're going to punch out two and put a block of redstone. We'll leave a little gap of two. And we're going to do the same thing. So we should have three holes in the floor right there. We'll knock out these and replace them with the clay just to kind of keep the, the checkerboard pattern. And then we're going to put right on top of the redstone block a piston, just like this. You could actually put a redstone torch down there too. That works just as well, and it really doesn't make a difference. Now for the booths, we're going to use these dark oak stairs, just like that. And then for the counter here, we're going to take inverted stairs, these dark oak inverted stairs, and bring them all the way over to right there, and then we're going to stop. Now here, we're going to put signs right above the windows, just like their menus or something. And that's basically the interior all finished up nicely. So we'll take a dark oak door and put that right there. Now, the next thing that we have to do is we need to start putting the roof on here. So let's grab ourselves some stone slabs and we're going to put those all the way along the top up here. And ultimately, the entire roof on this building is actually pretty simple. It's just stone slabs. There's not much to it. But it gets the job done, and that's the important thing. And it looks very, uh, very restaurant-like. If you look at a lot of restaurants, especially modern restaurants, they, they generally have completely flat roofs with maybe a sign or something like that on top. They're nothing, uh, they're nothing spectacular. So we're just going to go like this. And then over here, we're going to come in one and then take this all the way around the edges. Just like that. But we're going to stop it right there. Now, here, here, and here, just line it up with the edges of the windows. We're going to put oak fences, and we're going to go three high with those. And then what we're going to do is, right here, we're going to take string... And we're going to connect those all up. And what that's going to allow us to do is place carpets on top of this string without it being super overly visible. There we go. And that one can go away. And you know what I just did? I totally just put the string at the wrong level. That was... No, I didn't. No, I was right. I was right. Okay. I'm not losing my mind. I thought I was losing my mind for a second, guys. I think we're good. Okay. So, what we'll do is we will start with white. Although, really, it doesn't matter. You could certainly start with red. But we'll start with white for this one, since it matches the other one over there. And we're just going to use these two colors and put those carpets like this. Then we'll switch to the other color and fill it in so it gives us this nice striped awning type looking thing, which I think looks really good. I think that matches the, uh, the build and the feel of what we were going for here very well. We're going to knock out this one this one, and that one. And we're going to take ourselves some 
prismarine lanterns. You could certainly use glowstone or something as well if you were building this in a survival world. That would be fine. It's just for lighting purposes. And we're going to cover most of this up with stone slabs. And the reason we're putting those in there is so that we have light inside here. Obviously, that's very important that we have our light. Now, for the ice cream cone on top, I used endstone and bricks. Um, you don't have to use endstone. This is creative, so it's not, uh, you know, it's totally doable with an um, easier... Talking is a problem. It is totally doable with another material like sandstone, for example. Sandstone would also look very well. Brick isn't that hard to get in survival, so, you know, brick works. But you could use something else, too. Really, honestly, for all of these, the color itself does not matter all that much. It really doesn't. Just find a couple of colors that work and that kind of complement each other. In this case, I kind of went with red and white for the theme. And uh, it worked out pretty well. We also want to fill in these corners just like so. And that gives us kind of this ice cream cone looking thing. Although I raised it up much higher. I just realized that. Let's fix that. I don't want that up that high. Plus, then we can go a little bit more detailed on how to build this. So it's just one, two, three on the third level. Add one like this on top. Throw down some bricks. Just like so. And then we put stairs on top of that to give us the nice kind of rounded ice cream shape. The shape of an ice cream cone does not translate very well into my graph, so you will have to kind of use your imagination on that. But I am going to go ahead and call this build completed at 11 minutes and 16 seconds. So, nice and easy. Not too bad at all, but that there it is. There it is. That's the ice cream parlor. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I really do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. If you have a suggestion for something to build, definitely throw it in the comments down below. And if I choose your idea, if I like the idea and decide to go with it, I will give you a shout out at the beginning of the video. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time. And the reason that I'm saying that is that way we don't have to have the layout of the house be exactly the same on the upstairs and the downstairs. I, I really don't think that that's the kind of uh, look and feel that we're going for. I want them to...